does anybody know how many people over the age of 80 are likely to have a form of dementia? Okay, it's about one in six. And over 60, people start to have that fear of getting dementia. So what we're trying to do today is actually give you um, some kind of hope within our, our course to understand how we can support people with dementia. Hello, can I help you? Are you okay? Yeah, um, what's going on here then? We've got a, a, a dementia session here. Oh, right. Would you like to come and take a seat? Where do you want me to take it? Sorry? You said take a seat. Where do you want me oh, to take Oh, sorry. It? No, come and sit down. Come and, yeah, anywhere? I think these are reserved, so if you want to come and... Oh, I don't know if I want... No, I'll okay. sit here. Okay. Yeah. Okay, you comfortable there? Yes. Okay, good. So, um, what we're going to do today is actually give you a flavour of that, a little bit of understanding <gasps> about what's For happening. For sake. I'm so, sorry to interrupt. Okay. Is this where you've escaped to? I have been looking for you everywhere. I beg your pardon. Oh, you think you're talking oh, to me? Oh, what's that? Hat? You've got the. Oh, my God. Oh. Where the bloody hell have you had that from? Don't tell me. Just come on, all right? Don't you lay a bloody hand on me or I swear off. Mum! You're making a scene. You're not making a bloody scene. Sorry. Fine. Stay here. When you're ready, your lunch is out there. They've just bought your fish and chips out. All right. Fish and chips? Yes. Well, why didn't you say so? I'd like to go for my lunch. I'd like to go for my lunch. Um, I'm okay. Yeah. Uh, you didn't study what she was talking about anyway. Just up here. Come on, Matt. Yes. Uh, have you seen what she's wearing? Yeah. Thank you. Come on, Mum. This way. She's got a big booty. Sorry. Sorry. Yes. Yeah. So, Sharon, what, what actually happened there? We just ordered lunch, sat down, we'd just been having a look round, and then um, I popped off to, to go to the loo quickly, and obviously the queue is ten times longer than you expect it to be. <coughs> and by the time I got back, I just, I couldn't find mum anywhere. And it's just so frustrating and, and scary. And she's never normally like this, you know, I mean, I'm mortified. I'm so sorry for, for the things that she said to you as well. She'd never dream of saying that normally. You know, and I, I just don't know where she goes. And sometimes I swear to God, she's doing it on purpose just to like punish me or something. It's like having a blooming two-year-old. You have to keep your eyes on her the whole time. So, Fiona, what, what happened for you there? Um, I couldn't honestly tell you how I got in here. Uh, I, I, we were sitting having um, lunch and, um, and then I, I get these moments when I get restless and uh, I, I get this kind of compulsion to go and look for something and, and I noticed that Sharon wasn't there, and, and I'd just completely forgotten that she'd gone to the loo. And I just started to go and look for her. And, and then I, I, I wandered into here, and, and I, I was getting really confused. And, I, and then you said something about dementia, and I thought, oh, well, this is obviously where I'm meant to be, because I, I have dementia. All right. So do these things happen to you often? Does this kind of situation? Happen. Well, more often than it used to, sadly. Uh, I mean, I, 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 the thing is, when I get um, confused, I get really angry and say really inappropriate things. I, d I don't know where it comes from. It's like, 
it's like all the, the filters in my brain have just stopped working, you know? And, uh, and, I, and I'm sure Sharon thinks I can stop it, but I can't. It's not like, you know, it's not like, um, it's not like I'm even thinking what's coming out of my mouth. I'm not. These inappropriate things come out and I, I'm not somebody who ever swore before. But I just wish I could stop it, but I can't. Hmm. So do you think, um, Sharon, what do, you, what do you think in this situation? I mean, it's just, it's, just, it's so, so useful to, to hear where that, that comes from. I think the most difficult thing for me is having somebody that you've known your, your whole life just suddenly become somebody you don't recognise. <coughs> and so to hear why that happens and, and where she goes at those moments is... It's really helpful to me in terms of, of what I can do about that.